Hello everybody, welcome to Canadian Time Motorsport Park. It's rounds 9 and 10 of the Wheel and Mazda MX-5 Cup presented by Michelin. I'm John Hindorf and in the booth with me, as ever, is Shea Adam. Before we get to the action today, let's take a look back at rounds 7 and 8, which were at Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course. It is a packed field of Mazda MX-5s coming down to the green flag. Battle continues at the sharp end of the field. How can we look away from the battle for the top three spots? Through the final turn, open the hands, and race number seven is winner number seven. Welcome to the winner's circle. Connor Zilich, Whalen Engineering will be so proud because once again, another race winner. We are racing at Beef, Ohio. A little bit of jabbing, a little bit of dancing around. Let's find out where the strengths and weaknesses are. So it's all kicking off again at the front. And for the second race of the weekend, our winner, Gresham Wagner, who takes the checkered flag. A podium sweep for McGumby McAleer Racing. It was 2016, the last time the MX-5 Cup headed north of the border to Canada. And in that time, the series have brought new cars, new tyres, and this weekend, a lot of fresh faces to this track. After a 10th place finish in round nine, championship points leader Gresham Wagner is looking to bounce back. He's got two wins this season, and he's looking to add a third. Despite not having a win this season, McCumby McAleer Racing's Jeremy Fletcher sits in second place in the championship. He's had consistent finishes all season long. Can he finally find the top step of the podium? After a third place finish in round nine, Connor Zilic has his sights set on another podium as he fights his way back into the championship battle. Western Workman picked up his second win of the season this weekend and is now back in top spot in the Rookie of the Year standings. The 2024 MX5 Championship is still up for grabs. 45 minutes on the clock, let's get to the start of round 10. We're just outside of Bowman Whitville, Ontario. It's a great place to come motor racing and a great circuit. Been here for a very long time. You've got the really uh, heavy commitment turn one, turn two and turn three. Heavy braking uphill into turn five and six, Moss Corner. Then the long run down Mario Andretti straight into an insanely fast entry into turn six. Scrub off a bit of speed and balance it for the S's. 45 minutes on the clock with potential weather threatening on the right hand side of the track is the pool sitter Jared Thomas in the red and white car he gets the jump pushed through by Western Workman in the purple number 13 and they will both get ahead of the front row starter Aaron Johnson exactly what we saw in Saturday's race here with the inside lane having the advantage oh big slide from the leader Jared Thomas as he goes over the top of the rise at the start of turn two but he holds on to it workman in second look at Connor Zillich perfect example in the number 72 silver hair sponsored car he's already trying to figure out can I make a pass around the outside going through 5a and b well the answer was no and it's actually resulted in some damage to the BSI racing car so Connor now with a bit of tire rub on the right hand side of his car good spot Shay, and that Michelin is taking a heck of a lot of stick there from bodywork that has been touched just a little bit of rubbing uh, a little bit too much rubbing there on um, now the worry is when that stops because that means a groove has been worn in to that racing tyre. I think it is the left rear and there's more side-by-side -side action with the number 90, uh, the number 56, excuse me, Nathan Nicholson. We talk about these bonus points for fastest laps and pole positions. Oh, that was a bit of a dive bomb there by Jeremy Fletcher. Not as clean as we're used to from JF takes third position for a moment from his uh, from Aaron Johnson his JTR competitor so JTR McCumbie McCumbie JTR BSI BSI JTR McCumbie Spark McCumbie um, make a song out of that 
What a great job by those trailing three on the end of the, the lead pack as Jeremy Fletcher's move on Aaron Johnson. Oh, it got a little bit feisty there up into five and then through 5B with Fletcher with the optimum line. But that was a, a bit of a wild moment for Fletcher actually going through the breaking zone. I'm, I'm very impressed by Alex Bashura, Jean Jadouin, and Woody Hyman, three guys who have been so close to breaking into that top five for a while now. They are for sure hanging with this battle for the lead, let alone the leading pack. Aaron Johnson dropping back through yeah. the field. has dropped down to the bottom end of the top ten, and in fact, he's going out of the top ten at this point here. Now, this, this is big news. It could be a tire-related issue. I'm hearing the, the voices inside my head, John, that he was involved in the contact earlier on as Jared Thomas reclaims the lead of the race. This full-course caution is now out. That's, That's because Gresham. the number five of Gresham Wagner has gone off at turn nine, and that is the car is on its side. Gresham is trying to extricate himself, but the safety features of the Mazda MX-5 Cup car have done its have done their job. Gresham is now out of the car, and now the safety workers have to work out how to get that car turned back on its wheels. Halfway through the race, and great to see so many of a very knowledgeable crowd here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park who've been here for the Chevrolet Grand Prix, staying on for this race, and why wouldn't you? I think the lights are off on the wheel, and safety car down the, as it heads down the Mario Andretti straight it's going to be about 16 and a half minutes to go yeah my eyes did not deceive me Jared Thomas then takes charge of the field right everybody now this is going to get interesting I'm looking for words oh yeah uh, frenetic fast furious exciting 16 minutes and 45 seconds as we go back to green flag racing for the second race of two for the Whale and Mazda MX-5 Cup presented by Michelin at Canadian Time Motorsport Park. Shane Adam, John Hindorf and 19 cars, 18 of which are on the lead lap, to battle it out for just over a quarter of an hour. Jared Thomas on the restart got just enough of a gap that he didn't have to defend into turn one or two from Western Workman. That's not the case further back, and Workman now heads to the high side as they go through turn number three. And this is what I'm talking about, this situational awareness, the I'm fighting the car in front, I'm defending the car behind. And it is such a momentum series as Workman thinks about the inside going up the hill at turn three. And behind him, Jonathan Nerdov pulls off a pass on Alex Batura and goes back to sixth position after losing a couple of places. And they're all in with a shout. Here comes Workman, he's pulled out of the slipstream earlier now. Used the draft of the two cars. Tries to go again on the outside. He's getting some help as he goes Ooh. through. There's a touch, and that's going to be huge. And the lead has gone as well. How did they all avoid each other? That's Jeremy Fletcher that's gone through to the lead from, I think, fifth or sixth position. No clue how they all stayed on track there. The slightest of touches from Workman as it was trying to go through, pitched a car sideways. Workman round the outside, hits the back of the number 56 of Nathan Nicholson, who then cannons into the leader and puts him sideways. The incident that happened earlier on for Aaron Johnson. Well, Aaron's back up to eighth, but Jared Thomas with that. And now Heather Hadley has had a big Heather one Hadley. at the same spot where Gresham Wagner went off. And that is going to end the race, I reckon. I don't think we can leave Heather exposed there. The front left-hand wheel has been torn off. Her number 54, she was just knocking on the top 10 as well in that BSI racing car. Uh, now, this doesn't help Jeremy Fletcher. Oh. That means he's going to be dead last of the cars on the lead lap with his 10-second penalty. Heather out of the car and talking to the AMR safety team. So, much as yesterday in race one at Canadian Time Motorsport Park, the Wheeland Mazda MX-5 Cup presented by Mazda will see the driver who crosses the line and takes the chequered flag not stand on the top step of the podium. 
A 10 second penalty for Jeremy Fletcher for contact. Will demort him down the field. And it will be Nate Cicero who takes the victory for McCumbie Magalia Racing ahead of JTR Motorsports, Julian Da Costa, who's the best of the rookies, and Spark Performance, Alex Petura in third. The yellow flags bring an end to our race. And a 10 second time penalty to Jeremy Fletcher hands Nate Cicero his second win of the season. Let's get down to victory lane and hear from Nate. Honestly struggling a little bit in that race. Um, car was great, all the MMR cars were, were running up front. I think all of us were in the top 10 until um, uh, Gresham had an unfortunate incident. Uh, glad he's all right. Um, but yeah, we were able to, to get into 1-2 after, after a little bit of tough racing up front. But um, decent weekend, uh, you know, it's great points for me. I'll take a win and uh, coming off of Watkins Glen uh, a couple weeks ago, having a break failure to, to winning in this, it's uh, definitely pretty good. So good redemption. Congratulations to Nate Cicero and the entire McCombie McAleer racing team. Here's the Wheel and Mazda MX5 Cup point standings, and it's a big shake up at the top of the leaderboard. Aaron Johnson jumps from third to first after another strong weekend. Nate Cicero now 30 points back in second place after his win in round 10, while defending MX5 Cup champion Jared Thomas moves up one spot into third with Jeremy Fletcher and Gresham Wagner rounding up the top five. Rounds 11 and 12 of the Wheel and Mazda MX-5 Cup presented by Michelin will be on track at Virginia International Raceway, August the 24th and the 25th. I'm John Hindorf for Shea Adam. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you at the next one. This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted or used in any form without the authorized written consent of the International Motorsports Association. We would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast.